Oh, it's already recording. Uh, hi, guys. How are you doing? Exciting times here in the moonlit and polished cave. This is my vanity. This is my wall where I'm going to put up some nail polish shelves right here. And um, this is my brand new camera that I just got yesterday. I got a new camera. I got new lights. Not like I'm special or anything. I just, I like my things to be nice and quality. And, and I had some quote unquote extra money that I got from stuff. Hey, it's none of your business. Don't ask. <laughs> I got uh, a little bit of extra money and I thought, you know what, let me just go ahead and buy a better camera because my camera was doing this thing where it wasn't focusing and it was garbage and I hated it. And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to go ahead and read a comment that I got today just before I hit record. Like I was about to hit record and I heard the little thing like -doo -doo -doo. So I was like, oh, let me check what that is. And it was a YouTube comment. <sighs> and I kind of can't believe anybody would say this. Um, your voice sounds like Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you. I love Ellen DeGeneres and I love Fighting Dory, so that is a compliment to me. I'm pretty sure they didn't mean it as like not a compliment because I mean, Ellen DeGeneres rocks. I love her. She's so adorable and funny. Anyways, let's get down to the breast tags. I was on a mini vacation last week, like two or three days. Me and my husband went to Clearwater, we went to the beach, which I hate because I'm not a beach person. Sand gets everywhere. Urgh. Also, I'm not a tiny girl. I'm like a bigger girl. So bathing suits are not my favorite thing to wear. But that's beside the point. When we came back home, I immediately went to check the mail. So I love getting mail, I love getting packages. And I had a package waiting for me. And so I was excited and I started to tear into it without even looking to see who it was from. And then I spotted it. I said, oh, Cal Polish. Did I order the spring line again? Crap. I've done that before. I've ordered the same thing twice, multiple times. I've bought it and then waited 30 minutes and then bought it again. Not because I want to, but because my head's filled with marbles. So I sent them an email and I was, it was like Saturday. So I didn't expect to get a response or anything until like Monday. So I sent them an email and I was like, hey guys, was this me or you? Cause you know, this is like a 45, $50, $30 thing. And I don't want to buy it twice. I don't need it. I already got it sent. And um, I forgot to check my little and polished email because I'm a small YouTuber. I have 160 subscribers and that's a big deal to me, but not a big deal to a lot of people. So um, Sunday night, I went and I checked my email and I saw that I got an email from Kale Polish and not just like the customer support at Kale Polish. It was a person, a person emailed me, emailed me directly. Ah! They saw my video. I was super stoked about that because I don't think, I don't think they knew I existed, but they saw my email. They appreciated my feedback as generic as that sounds. Anyways, so they were devastated at the fact that my hug and roll arrived leaking and they wanted to make it up to me by sending me the entire kale polish spring line again. Yay! I thought that was so cool because, you know, if I had complained about it, I would have gone on Twitter or Instagram and I would have made a big fuss. Whatever, it's broken. I mean, but it wasn't broken. It was just a little leak. It was like a non, non leak. It was tiny. It was not a big deal. So, which is why I didn't say anything about it. If it had been broken, I would have been all over the internet. I almost died the glass. Ah! No, that's not what happened. So I didn't care. And I even said it in the video. I don't care. I'll just clean it. It's fine. Whatever. But they were like, no, we want to make it up to you. Which means they had to like do some investigating. Because I didn't even order it under my moonlit and polished email, which I should. I bought it under my other regular email. And they did some like digging to find out which one was my order and send me a new one to my house. They stalked me. Guys, a nail polish line stalked me. So beautiful. <laughs> anyway, since I don't need this whole set, cause you know, I got, I got these. I lost, I don't know where they went. I, I have my own set that I bought already. I want to give these away to the people. Oh, don't. 
cry for me, Argentina. So guys, here's the deal. You guys get me to 500 subscribers and I will give this away to one lucky winner. It will unlock a giveaway that once I have read the YouTube giveaway rules and instructions and how to do it and know how to set it up, which is super boring, so you guys know, I'm, I'm working a lot for you. I have to read a lot of rules and crap, which I don't like. Yes, I have spectacles, but they are meant for reading salacious gossip and slightly erotic nose. <laughs> so, here. Get me to 500 subscribers. Talk about me. Retweet my videos. Be all like, Moonlight and Polished. She's the stuff. And I will give this away to one lucky winner. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me and being my subscribers and being people that you are, even though I don't know who you are. Thank you for being strangers. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. My love, where did you go? I wanna know. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Uh, 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 I rescued the sister coconut milk. I totally saved its life. Uh, uh, uh.